Did you know that there was a secret speakeasy in Cincinnati? Inside the steakhouse prime and through a couple of hallways with murals dedicated to the city, you will find the bookcase. Now this bookcase has a lot of great books on it. However, with a couple of taps, you may enter unexpected. A secret speakeasy and bourbon room. Cool. Oh my gosh, I'm hooked. Can I like, I want to go there right now. Okay, this is so exciting. I'm very excited about this this morning. We all know the food landscape in Cincinnati. It's always changing, right? It always has new and upcoming restaurants. And sometimes, as we all know, it can be really hard to simply keep track of them all, especially the ones that are super cool and unique. So there's one Instagram page that might be able to help. I am very excited to welcome you guys in. We are joined here uh, by Fork Cincinnati bloggers, Dee and Hunter. So we were kind of teasing your all's blog a little bit, but tell us just kind of for the audience at home, for the viewer at home, tell us really what we're talking about here, what your all's page is all about. Dee, I'll ask you. Yeah, sure. So we started Fork Cincinnati because when we were dating, we used to go out to eat so much sure. and our friends would be like, oh, where did you go? What should we get from this restaurant and stuff like that? Yeah. So we ended up saying, you know what, let's just open, let's just do a Instagram page and be like yeah. foodies of Cincinnati. And you, and you had already started taking pictures of, of yeah. everything <laughs> at them. So yeah. we, we had the content. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So then kind of where did you guys go from there? I know that we have three restaurants that we actually want to to get to. That was just so cool what we saw there. But now I want to get to um, Baru. Is that how you say it? Yes. Okay, Baru. so let's talk about let's talk about that one. I have actually not heard of that one. Yeah, so it's a brand new sushi restaurant downtown. It's very elevated as you can see. The yes. bar is beautiful. Um, they have sushi ranging from, you know, regular i wouldn't say regular because nothing that is really regular yes. <laughs> um, but also you know like it's really extra in the best way okay. yeah exactly <laughs> you can get you know sushi with crab and shrimp but you can also get caviar on your sushi with gold leaves on it you oh tried that one oh yeah <laughs> and this seems like hunter this seems like something that's out of cincinnati right i, I feel like it, i'm almost looking at something in la or new york yeah well the cincinnati food scene's really elevating itself yeah. like as of the last two or three years, we've seen like a skyrocket of like tons of different new restaurants that are right. trying a bunch of different things. Yeah. Right. And things things that LA is doing, things that Chicago is doing, New York, and it, I think we're getting on the map a little bit. Absolutely. Okay, so Hunter, now I want you to tell me about Rusk. Is that correct? Rusk? Yes, I think that we have a video, or video of this here. Where is this? So this is in East Walnut Hills. Sorry, okay. Unfortunately, I, <laughs> I actually didn't go to this oh, one. So no, D, go ahead. Me, go ahead. me and my uh, other it. foodie friend, Kate's Cravings, uh, we went, I went with her and we literally discovered this place while just driving through East Walnut Hills. Oh, oh my goodness. And yeah, they have a beautiful rooftop patio, perfect for summer and patio season that's coming up. Brunch menu was on point. Wow, so. I mean, th this really yeah. does look amazing. I almost feel like I'm watching like the Travel Network or something. <laughs> Something like that. But it's what's, goals. What's a, yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and now we're finishing up with Speak Easy. Tell us about this one because I saw this. Okay, Hunter, you were obviously there. <laughs> I was I was at this one, yes. And so, yeah, tell us where is this? And, and I mean, this looks this, pretty uh, elite. Oh, it is. It's uh, This is in Prime. So it's, okay. it's their hidden Speak Easy um, called Unexpected. And you've got to kind of solve like a riddle to get there. And then <laughs> once you do that, they take you back and then you find the hidden door. And you've got, it's basically like a really cool secluded whiskey bourbon uh, room. room. It, yeah, yeah and they have tons of, stuff. of speakeasy, right? Because yes. those right. used to be you had to have kind of like a secret password or yeah. something like this, that in order to get in those. Well, I mean, seriously, this is incredible. Again, for folks watching this at home right now, because I know as soon as I'm done with the show, I want to go and <laughs> look what you guys have been doing. But for folks watching right now, just seeing your videos, where can they see more? Um, on Instagram, okay. at Fork Cincinnati. Go Easy follow enough. us. Yes, <laughs> thank you guys. And thank yeah. you. Keep doing what you're doing. Because I mean, you. yeah, you guys are taking the elevated food scene and elevating it. So yeah, I appreciate that. I and that. thank you guys again for being in here. And yeah, I gotta check them out. Oh, I'm yes. intrigued.